Hey, y'all, welcome back to season three of your favorite show, Create It Christmas Edition, the show where you create it and, and we rate it. it. Well, well, did you hear what our contestants are doing today? Uh, no, I actually haven't checked yet, but it looks like you can fill us in on that pretty well. Uh, Kirk, create it to Kirk. Hello? Oh, whoa, whoa. I, I'm so sorry. I got so caught up in thinking about what our contestants are going to be making today, I started daydreaming about it. Well, do you mind filling us in so we can get excited too? Oh, yeah. That, that's a great idea. Okay, contestants. We're here. We're here. Okay, listen up. Today, you guys will be facing off in a Christmas cookie competition. I love baking. Oh my gosh, desserts, cookies, <gasps> I can't wait to eat. Are you serious right now? Disgusting. Yes, I can win this one. I am, oh, I'm the best baker there is. This is amazing. Okay, okay, listen up, y'all. The instructions for this Christmas cookie contest are very important. These cookies will be decorated to the extreme and catch this, at the end, the winner will be giving their cookies away. Whoa, those are some extensive rules. Do you guys think you got this? Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. All right then, let's get this party going. On your mark, get set, bake! Ooh, I can't wait to make these. I think I'm gonna make my great, great, great grandmother's Christmas cinnamon cranberry cookies. And they have to have cinnamon. That's super important. So, you know the sugar cookies with like red, yellow, green, and whatever icing? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so good, I can't wait. Uh, I think I'm gonna take some like flour and sugar and maybe put in, you know, some salt. I, I don't, I don't really know. Do I have to do this? Okay, so these are an original and they're gonna get me the win for sure. I'm making my family's peppermint chocolate chip cookies and they are, oh, they're so amazing. I can't wait to get the win. All right, final 10 seconds. Count down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay, Kirk, are you ready to judge these bad boys? This is looking good, James. Thank you. you Thank you. These are my Christmas mayhem cookies. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Take a bite. Mm -hmm. Good job, James. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, take this dive in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good All right. Good job. Thank you, sir. Good, good job. job. Thank you. These were my great great grandmother's recipe, so I hope you oh. like it. Mmm. You know what? It's Fantastic. Job, Grandma. Here you go, my peppermint chocolate chip cookies. You take a bite first. I want to try that one too. Let me try that. Yeah, let me get the other side. Mm 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 mm. You all did a phenomenal job. But one shine brighter than the rest, I think. Yeah. And the winner is Hannah. Yes! I knew I would win. I love to bake. This is so exciting. Oh wait, what do I win? Uh. Hannah, were you not listening to the rules at the beginning? The rules? The winner will be giving their cookies away. Wait, 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 I know I'm not remembering this right. I have to give my cookies away? And that's the prize? Exactly, Hannah. We know that winning this competition means a lot to you. Well, receiving these special homemade Christmas cookies is going to mean so much more to someone else. This situation is reminding me of a verse in Deuteronomy 15, verse 10, where God is talking to the Israelites. He says, so give freely to needy people. Let your heart be tender towards them. Then the Lord your God will bless you in all your work. He will bless you in everything you do. See, God is asking the Israelites to give to those in need with a happy heart, to be part of their story by blessing them. And then God will bless them in return. You see, someone may be praying and praying for something and you don't even know about it, but your act of kindness or maybe giving them of cookies could be the answer to their prayers. It could be the part of their story that they've been waiting for. Okay, I see what you're saying, I think, but what does this have to do with Christmas? Ooh, 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 I've got this. Go ahead, Kirk. Okay, in the Christmas story, we hear about the wise men, right? They knew that Jesus was coming, 
they had seen the star and studied the prophecies about him. So they began to make the journey west to find him and worship him. They traveled many, many miles and for a long time, following the star, trusting in the prophecies they had read. So when the star stopped over the house in Bethlehem, they were filled with joy. It says in Matthew 2, 11, they bowed down and worshiped him. They opened their treasures and they gave him gold, frankincense and myrrh. After they had given him their gifts, they began their journey home. Once they left, Mary and Joseph and Jesus in Bethlehem, we don't hear from them again. That's what trust looks like. It's knowing that God has a bigger plan, even if we don't see it. It is knowing that our small part to play is enough for us to keep trusting that God's got the rest of the picture planned. I think I finally understand now. What you're saying is, just like the wise men, getting to give a gift is the gift. And I could even get to be part of someone's story by giving with a willing heart and trusting God. Wow, thank you guys so much. It is such an honor to have won this. Wait, I should make more cookies. I could give away even more. We are so glad that you get it now, Hannah. And congrats again on winning. Well, y'all, that is a wrap for today. Thank you for joining us for this episode. We hope you learned something. We'll see you next week on Create It Christmas Edition, where you create it and, and we rate it. it. Bye, y'all.